94% of you think that the move can do it after their reverse sweep, and you know what? They're going to be doing it on the comp, comp that they are so well known for. Is it going to be enough to take down Storm? Yeah, we'll have to see. I think the move, they have a nice setup here. They're going to be able to put out a lot of pressure on Maldiva when they do finally push in. Shadow Priests have a lot of crowd control. Absurd is going to be able to deal with Maldiva a little bit, too, with the grounding, with the wind shear. These are all very powerful tools against the Duster Warlock, who has to get off these big casts in order to do effective damage. That's fair. Once again, playing patiently, sapping WizK while Peekaboo starts his attack, and that delayed it, so they couldn't coordinate together. And that was good defensive play. I would almost argue that Nesper may be one of the best defensive rogues in the game, but he also needs offense to close the match. While Storm have been playing phenomenal defense, they need to also attack at some point. Maldiva's gonna be leading the charge in that front. One Chaos Bolt flying in towards Peekaboo, but Nesper taking the brunt of it as these rogues go head to head to d assert dominance. Which one is going to stay in the tournament? Which one's gonna be going home? We're gonna find out here shortly in game one. Maldiva just freeing terror down from these Chaos Bolts, but we can see that the move are wisely avoiding Maldiva's line of sight, but actually getting caught here, a lot of damage Peekaboo, he trinkets, he cloak of shadows to avoid the maledict of metaphors, and that was a bit of a close call for the move early on. Yeah, a little bit scary there. Nesper now being caught into a kidney shot smoke bomb. He trinkets out with his cloak of shadows in order to survive. In the move, they just want to kind of outlast some of this damage that's coming in from Maldiva, sort of recover from the Dark Soul, from the Infernal cooldown. Those are long CDs. Once they can sort of recover from that point, that's when they can push in and get aggressive. You can see Metaphors, he actually has no trinket. So one clean setup, if WizK can push in, he can get the Psychic Horror into a Fear, into a Disarm. They might be able to take down Maldiva or at least force some cooldowns. So far, Maldiva has been left open and he's really raining terror in there with these Chaos Bolts. WizK getting swapped to. Maldiva lining up a Chaos Bolt. Peekaboo saves WizK with a nice timed kick there, stopping Chaos Bolt from getting off. Absurge now in a blind and WizK's falling behind. Maledict committed and Absurge decides to break out of blind and save the day. The move backing each other up, but they're running limited on options here. Peekaboo is vulnerable moving forward. If Nesper gets a smoke bomb, it could be curtains for Peekaboo. Peekaboo needs to be ready for that. Absurge moves close to him. They drop the kidney shot. Where's the smoke bomb? They're not going to go for it. Nesper wants to play it safe and make sure it's absolutely guaranteed, but the longer that he waits, the more likely the move will be able to respond. Yep, and Maldiva now into the kidney shot, trying to slow down Maldiva just a little bit. Metaphor's mana, look at it. He's actually used so much mana in this matchup so far. It's honestly kind of unexpected. Absurge leading in terms of um, his blue bar. So now a kidney shot over onto Absurge to fear onto Peekaboo. Some solid pressure coming in for Storm once again. Metaphor sneaks away, far away, looking for that drink, looking to reset his mana bar at this point in the game. The longer he can drink, the more mana he will regenerate. WizK having to play a little bit defensive right now. Maldiva still in a kidney shot, taking some damage. Fear on a Nesper. Metaphors pushes in, caught into the blind. Trinket's out. Now there's a small opening here for the move, but WizK is just not getting topped off. I mean, Absturge has to heal two members. With Absturge and WizK standing next to each other, Nesper is just tearing into two targets on an assassination rogue. He can have rupture on multiple members, generate more energy, and deal more damage. They need to start spreading out, but if they spread out, then they are open for Maldiva to get Chaos Bolt, so it's a tough decision. Are you more afraid of Chaos Bolt, or are you more afraid of the rogue? It seems like they're more afraid of Chaos Bolt, and I would say that's probably the wise decision. Metaphor still kind of burning low on mana. I'm not sure if Whiskey is dispelling a lot of heal over time effects. That is the advantage they get with the Shadow Priest over the Destruction Warlock. Peekaboo locked down in a kidney shot. Would have liked to see this swap to Peekaboo a bit earlier on with Nesper's Smoke Bomb. I think that was one clear win condition they had that now has been lost with Peekaboo. It's Gladiator's Medallion available. But Maldiva leading the charge, gets a Chaos Bolt off, but Peekaboo reverses the pressure with that Maledict. Tons of damage. Unending Resolve has been forced, but even still, Maldiva could falter here in game number one as he retreats away with the gateway. Metaphor's right next to him to pick him back up. And now Met Nesper is overextended, taking the brunt of this exchange. And the move are playing a lot more together, but Nesper is just tearing in on triple threat here, doing damage to all three members. Cataclysm hits all three members, and the damage output from Storm is quite heavy, and I'm not sure how long Absurge can keep this up. Well, Nesper, with the Fan of Knives specialization, is going to be getting a lot of combo points. He can put Rupture on everyone, like you were saying. So the move has to find a balance of line of sighting Maldiva, but also not clumping up too much where they're all getting fan of knives in the situation. Kidney shot on WizK, tons of pressure coming in from Storm. Absurd's getting locked out. Peekaboo and WizK both falling further and further behind. This could be the dispersion here, and Maldiva's out of line of sight right now. Nesper really doing such a good job. I mean, I'm wondering if he's running the fan of knives on her talent to increase the damage, because he's literally mashing fan of knives 
It does spread poisons onto the entire team, which is effective to reduce healing and do damage. So Nesper is taking advantage of this composition. If the enemy team wants to avoid the Warlock, Nesper can maximize damage. If they want to avoid the Rogue, the Maldiva maximizes damage. And they're really taking advantage of this composition. And Metaphor just sneaks away, regenerates mana, keeps up a couple heal over time effects, stays away from the fight, and lets his team carry him effectively in this matchup. And it looks like an unbreakable defense. I'm trying to see any opportunities here. Potentially they can take out Maldiva. They got a lot of burst earlier in the match onto him, but Peekaboo gets deflected away by Nesper. Maldiva channeling out some Chaos Bolts. Peekaboo's going to take one, take two. Now he's going to hang on. Well-timed feint, reducing the pressure, but the mana lead is established. We've just set foot in dampening, and momentum is in favor of Storm. All that needs to happen is Peekaboo needs to charge in, get the blind on Metaphors, and force his trinket. If he can force his trinket, now there's a situation where they get any more crowd control. Uh -huh. Maldiva has no wall, no nothing, but Absurge in a kidney shot, taking a little bit of damage. Is there any follow-up by Maldiva? Doesn't look like it just yet. Absurge survives with the Gladiator safeguard. Although this looks really scary for the move, they're one clean setup away. Maldiva, no defensives left. Unending resolve still not available for 50 seconds. Metaphor, no trinket. They just need one good CC chain where WizK pushes in. If he can get a Psychic Horror Silence into a Fear, anything, then they can take Maldiva down. Another kidney shot on Absturge, and Nesper is just tearing in. Devastation, Chaos Bolt's flying in. No momentum, maybe an opportunity, a miracle at best, but the move are capable of miracles. They've pulled off at worse odds than this in the past, so if there was a team to do it, it would be these three members, Absurd, Peekaboo, and WizK, but it's really, really, really not looking good for them right now. If you're a move fan, they need your energy most certainly to pull this one off. Nesper gets caught. This may be the opportunity. He trades Cloak of Shadows. That reduces a lot of damage. Now WizK gets set up on. He gets coiled on his trinket. Good set up by Maldiva as they continue to march forward to victory. Absturge so low on mana, forced to use Healing Wave instead of Chain Heal. Chain Heal gonna be doing a lot more healing against the spread pressure, especially with the Azerite traits he has selected, but he just doesn't have the mana to use it anymore. Healing Wave a lot more ineffective, but more mana efficient. Absurd blinded. He's trying to be greedy and sit through it. This could end up being a mistake as WizK is taking the brute force of Chaos Bolt in midfield and has to respect Maldiva. Trades out Dispersion, immediately retreats back to the pillar. Peekaboo moves in, trying to deflect Nesper away from his team. Dampening starting to ramp up to critical mass. I think when we get to around about 30 or 40 percent, things are going to become basically impossible for the move. Yeah, it's looking scary for the move, especially if Maldiva takes his very defensive position. It's difficult to push out into midfield and actually get any significant damage because I actually don't think the move will be able to take down Nesper. He's being patient. He has his evasion. He has his vanish. I think he still has his trinket. So they'll have to basically force Nesper to mess up huge. And I think Nesper's not going to do that. He's a very good rogue defensively, knows what he needs to do to stay alive. And he knows if they can just sit back, if they can just get the fan of knives and get the rupture of the groat on the enemy team, eventually they can win. But the move has stayed. They've stayed out of line of sight from Maldiva long enough. Nesper hasn't really been able to charge in. Metaphor sitting down for, I think, a drink or no. He's not going for a drink just yet. There's a full blind on to Metaphor's. Peekaboo charging in with a sprint. Kidney shot. I'm Maldiva. The move trying to make some plays here. Metaphor's does trink it out, but Maldiva with the Infernal is going to be a very scary person right now. Was K caught into the smoke bomb, doesn't have dispersion, but he does use the fade to avoid a little bit of damage, but the move's still in trouble. This next Chaos Bolt could be devastating if Maldiva is able to get it off. He needs, if, if he activates that Dark Soul, it's gonna be, there's the Dark Soul. Is there a stop for the Chaos Bolt? Maldiva's channeling it. Where is it going? Is it going into a grounding totem? No, it's going straight to Pika, but we pre-Cloak of Shadows the Bash. Great play by Pika, but Maldiva switches Whoa! attention. Switches his attention to Wiz K. Types, Home run! Type slash delete into his chat command there really quickly. Their comps owned and they started just destroying everybody and you could never count them out again after that. Yeah, you definitely couldn't, but can we count them out right now? I don't think that we can. They've brought a new composition here. Let's see if it's enough to tie up the series. All right, Jellybeans, WizK, they know who to target. That's going to be the Warlock. Let's see how Maldiva de deals with this pressure. And so far, it looks so good. Metaphors with Iron Bark. Maldiva's going to pull the trigger on that Infernals. Dropping Rain of Fire is important. That's an instant cast way to spend soul shards and increase the damage of your next chaos bolt so maldiva's chaos bolts are going to be massive here moving forward and if they disrespect they could just go down jelly beans whisk know that they're retreating back but maldiva's moving in he's getting ready this next chaos bolt could just find a kill if they're not careful mind freeze from whisk denies the chaos bolt they need to keep stopping it for as long as possible another chaos bolt attempt does he fake cast the pummel is now the question he gets death grip chaos bolt being casted gets shut down and chaos bolt still might squeak in at the last anti-magic zone whisk is not going to disrespect that whatsoever Save 
saves the day with this purple zone, but even still the pressure mounting. Nesper just tearing in. Yeah, a lot of damage. There's some Maledict onto Jelly Beans with a kidney shot. Can they take him down? Safeguard does proc to keep Jelly Beans alive. That shield trinket, very powerful. But Jelly Beans has no trinket. Absurge into a fear. Jelly Beans has to. Oh! Sap out of the fear coming in from Nest for the classic RLD crowd control. Fear from Jelly Beans. That's a very defensive fear. He's not going to have that available for metaphors. And this is what I'm saying. Storm, they have the move in such a defensive position. The move hasn't practiced this comp as much as you would have hoped. They're not rotating their defensive cooldowns. They're overlapping their trinkets. Now finally trying to get some damage rolling on Maldiva, but this is not looking too good. Fortunately, using Glider's Medallion for both Vendetta and Infernals is going to be an even trade. And now that that threat is gone, Jelly Beans and Wizcake can kind of go at Maldiva. Let's see how much he can deal with this. Kidney Shot and Wizcake, Icebound 4 to to use to get out of that to do damage. So that's a very aggressive maneuver from a Death Knight. You typically want to use that to stay alive, but it doesn't seem like he cares. He knows Jelly Beans is the primary target. Maybe he's trying to bait them to switch onto him instead of Jelly Beans so that Jelly Beans can go in battle stance. Might be a bit of a mind game there from him, not just an over aggressive move. Maldiva still just taking the brunt of this exchange. Absurge playing max range away. Mana even on both sides. No real advantage there. But Metaphors is running Thorns, which is full advantage against two melee classes that have to attack into it. I would like to see the team of the move switch targets when that happens. Attack Nesper a bit. He's always going to be close to them, attacking them on their back. Jelly Beans, Whiskey pinned down at the Tiger statue. They don't want to go on Maldiva out in the open. That could be dangerous. And Absurge actually gets spell locked. Nice move by Maldiva. That's going to put Jelly Beans behind. Yep, Jelly Beans and Wiz K under fire right now. Chaos Bolt connects onto Jelly Beans. He has to leap away once again. Absurge on 50% mana. The amount of damage that Nesper and Maldiva are doing is taxing the mana of Absurge quite a bit, but both druids are sitting down right now looking for a drink. And you would think that the Unholy Death Knight and the Arms Warriors sitting on a Warlock would be able to put out massive pressure, but so far, Wiz K and Jelly Beans, they've had to run away and hide for most of this game. With the addition of Demon Armor, increasing the Warlock's armor and max health, and these Restoration Druid buffs, it's a very durable target against basically every threat in the game. I think we've only seen Assassination Rogues really able to penetrate through this type of defense. And now Wizk's aggressive move earlier on could cost him the game. He's getting bursted. Maledict soaking up the heels. Absurd trades Iron Park to stay in the fight, but they've had to overcommit cooldowns to stay in it. Infernal gets dropped. Maldiva wants to get going. If he's able to spend Soul Shards, he's got Reign of Fire. Next Chaos Bolt could hit very hard. He's channeling it. Do they have a stop? No. One Chaos Bolt about to go off as it connects there onto Jelly Beans. If another one goes off, it could just be the end of the game. Maldiva's channeling Dark it. Soul. They need to stop it. WizK Death Grips. Will they be able to keep stopping it? Maldiva, Mortal Coil, Chaos Bolt. They have to stop it. He's trying to fake cast the pummels, get through all the interrupts and nail this. Chaos Bolt is not able to find it. There it is. This could be devastation. Chaos Bolt. Jelly Beans trades right away to respect the cooldowns. He knows that Maldiva is going to be doing massive damage and does not want to accidentally go down. Good awareness on Jelly Beans part, but every time that happens, he's not going to have that die by the sword for the next time. Yeah, and now they're trying to get aggressive on Maldiva, get some counter pressure, but Metaphors has just been able to heal through this damage so easily so far in this game. Maldiva still has the unending resolve. Big oh. burst, though, coming in from the move. Nice pressure on Maldiva, finally having to run away a little bit. Hiding, trying to run for that gateway if he needs it, manages to escape. Nesper going to keep up the snares now, swap over onto Absurge. Can they bait the Barkskin? Nesper looking for some AoE pressure on all three targets, but Absurge really isn't that scared. Maldiva wasn't able to connect any damage, and I feel like Nesper sitting on Absurge isn't necessarily going to be doing the most in this situation. I'm curious to see how it plays out. Absurge bashing Metaphors and tangling roots, likely Cloak of Shadows to get out of that. Maybe a Dispel. He needs Metaphors there. Metaphors dispels Nesper. Nesper is just going on a solo mission, and Maldiva is going to have to 2v2 a Warrior and a Death Knight. Not very easy task for a warlock, especially playing. I think his positioning could be better. He needs to pull away from this ramp. Jelly Beans and Whiskey can use it to line of sight. And Maldiva slowly making his way to a better position to keep them in his line of sight and cast. He just needs to keep casting whatever he can. Fear, Chaos Bolt, Cataclysm, Incinerate. Maldiva just needs to keep casting spells and putting pressure out. Absurd actually getting sapped by Nesper in the back line while Maldiva generates pressure, but really not enough to pressure them away from himself just yet. Double Mortal Coil, Chaos Bolt gets stunned by the pet of WizK, but now another one follows up on the back end of that bash, and they are both damping low. Abstert sitting a lot of crowd control while his team is effectively getting 2v2'd, and Nesper goes after Absturge. This strategy could end up working for Storm, but it's costing them a lot of mana. Yeah, it definitely is. Absurge now moving in, trying to connect the heal over time effects onto Jelly Beans. All those Restoration Druid heal over time effects are very powerful, especially right now. He should be able to top off his team, but Nesper's just looking to pressure down Absurge, make him make some mistakes here, trying to really 
test how good Absurge is on that Wrestler Druid. Nesper now coming back, putting the Ruptures onto WizK, onto Jelly Beans, help Maldiva just a little bit, generate some pressure on this Warrior Death Knight. It is likely that Jelly Beans and WizK are running the Bonded Souls as the right trade, so whenever they use spells and abilities, they have a chance to proc a heal on themselves so they can keep healing each other, even if Absurge is far away, and that is a recent Azerite trait in this patch. Definitely one you want to get if you're playing with double melee on your team, and that's how they're able to just stay on Maldiva even without a healer. Maldiva dips low. Maledix from Absturge to try and take him out. Metaphors get stunned up, but so far so good. And it seems like Nesper has given up on that strategy of going after Absturge, instead now going back onto Jelly Beans. Nesper, no, no, I guess he wants to go after Absturge again, walks into a bash, removes that immediately, and more importantly, aggressively. They could switch to Nesper and just blow him up here very shortly if they want to try and punish that move that he initiated. Metaphors in position to deny some damage here. Iron Barking, Thorns, a bit of an overlap. You would normally want to space these out, and that's why Jelly Beans and Whizcare are like, okay, you gave both those we're just gonna run away for a second attack Nesper and wait Maldiva's ramping his damage as well so a bit of a mistimed attack there no one held down in place Maldiva needs a chaos bolt he's gonna go for the double mortal coil play gets interrupted by WizK that interrupt isn't gonna last forever Maldiva's got a couple more seconds he goes for a shadow fear this chaos bolt could be devastating one chaos bolt two chaos bolts WizK can get taken out trades out the death pack stays in the fight just a little bit longer but momentum is still in favor of Storm I would believe for most of this fight and the move have to make something happen happened soon. That was both Maldix though, so WizK managed to survive that storm. A lot of damage coming in from this team. Nesper now trying to kite away, gets disarmed. He has a Vendetta available. Metaphors activates the thorns on Maldiva, making Jelly Beans and WizK sort of think twice before attacking him, but they don't care. Unending Resolve is forced out. Absurge kiting away, finally having to come back, and you can look. Absurge mana is being taxed so heavily. Metaphors a little bit earlier on sat down for a drink, regenerated some of that mana with every tick he sat down and had and now he has a commanding mana lead. Yeah, I mean, this isn't looking good for the move. I don't, I'm not sure. They've got a couple opportunities here to kill Nesper or Maldiva because they've been playing a little bit overly aggressive, unending resolve to attack, and Nesper using that human racial to attack Absurd. But Absurd's caught in a stun with no way out. Nesper just really going at him, trying to get a solo kill. Absurd obviously alting on this druid, so maybe Nesper trying to exploit that. It could just be that he feels it's the best target. He doesn't get cleaved down by the warrior and the death knight, and he can isolate Absturge, get life bloom onto the more vulnerable target, and then make a switch. Right now, WizK is most likely, or Absurge is most likely target to go down. Maldiva needs another minute and 15 seconds. If Storm can stay alive to that point, I'm not sure if the move will recover from the next attack. Jelly Beans, if he has to use Dive of the Sword before that point, it could be devastation. He's very low on health. Maldiva just mashing out Chaos Bolts. Any Magic Shield had to be committed. Whiskey is slow, Jelly, Jelly Beans is low, everyone on the move is just dying a slow and painful death. And not a place to be when you are the move. 23% dampening. Absurge now into the full fear. Jelly Beans has to die by the sword available if he needs it, but it looks like WizK is the target of choice for them. Nesper getting a little low. A big target swap here from the move as they make their way back to Maldiva. They need to shut down this destruction warlock. One Maledict hits. And I just realized with the Maledicts as well as Sharpened Blade, Jelly Beans has so much healing reduction on Maldiva. If they can continue those chains with any crowd control on Metaphors, it's just difficult because Metaphors is positioned so far away need a fear or something, but Jelly Bean seems to be holding on to it uh, for a little bit longer. Sharpened Blade committed as Jelly Beans leads the charge for his team, but they're attacking into Thorns. That could be devastating. Nesper gets a restealth, goes for a blind play, tries to sap the trinket, doesn't get it, moves back into the fight with two targets low. Momentum in favor of Storm. No mana left on either side. Metaphor's trying to take advantage and get a drink, regenerate mana, and get a huge advantage if he can manage to do it. Jelly Beans whiz I'm not sure if they see it. He's sitting down, I believe, and getting mana back. They go after Nesper to try and get a kill, but Jelly Beans can't keep it up. They deny the drink, but he already got the mana. The damage is done, and Storm have a lead. The Infernal gets dropped. Chaos Bolts are flying. There's really not much left after no mana to work with. This next Chaos Bolt could close the game if they are not careful. Fear secured. Maldiva hard carry. Where's the Chaos Bolt? They duck behind the corner on the balcony, but they're just rotting down. Maldiva has a couple more seconds to get a Chaos Bolt. He's going after Absurge with it. They're going for the swap. Absurge could just get completely annihilated. They grip Nesper away, but another Chaos Bolt. Maledict combo, and Absurge doesn't have much to work with as Nesper goes all in for the kill. Absurd on the run, jumping back behind out of line of sight, but with dampening so high, no mana to work when Nesper can just have his way with Absurd. Jelly Beans lead back, saves the day for a few more seconds, but I'm not sure how much longer Absurd can keep it up. 
33% dampening. Iron Bark about to fade. If they can get back on Absurge, it's big trouble. But a kidney shot on Jelly Beans. They are switching targets. Nesper looking for more damage on Absurge. Really punishing him. Absurge has to play this game phenomenally well. WizK getting low as well. Storm just has pressure on all three members. Defensive fear coming in from Jelly Beans once again. He hasn't been able to land those on Metaphors. They've just had to play so defensive in this matchup. They haven't been able to get much cleave damage going on any resolves. Going to be used mal by Maldiva as he looks to get some Chaos Bolts on WizK. With Thorns, they can't afford to attack. WizK solo, Absturge is solo. He's got Innervate. Maybe Absturge can make something happen with that. It makes all of his spells free. He needs to make sure he gets every single expensive spell off that he can. If Maldiva actually is able to dispel it with his Fell Hunter, it could just close the game. Everybody is dying. What are you going to do, Absturge? Can you pull off the Miracle with three targets so low and absolutely no mana left in the face of 40% dampening and a giant Chaos Bolt? There's the Innervate. Absturge has a couple seconds to try and get his team topped off. He's managing to hold on just a little longer. There might be an opportunity to kill Maldiva even at the end of this dark, dark tunnel. Maldiva doesn't actually have much to survive, but they can commit a big sharpened blade. Triple Maledict, they could potentially take him out, but Jellybean's just so low. They stop the Chaos Bolts. They keep it going just a little bit long, playing this out to the bitter end, trying to take any advantages that they can, but Chaos yeah. Bolts are flying in, and Jellybean's really doesn't have much. He leaps back around the corner, and I don't know how Absturge did it, but he managed to get himself back to full health. If he can keep them going a little bit longer, there could be some sort of opportunity. Yeah, WizK still low. Jellybean's pushing in. He wants to help WizK keep this damage rolling, but he is the one that's dying. Caught down at 20% HP. Absurge, no mana left. You can't see anything in that blue bar. Metaphors has a little bit of gas left in the tank. 44% dampening. Jellybean's trying to get away. We've seen what happened when Nesper can fan of knives. All three members. Absurge, how are you going to hold on? And ultimately, he cannot. Storm take this game and up in the series 2-0. Strategy where they go on metaphors, they're playing diamond dice. They might be able to just go on metaphors, get him low, put him in a trap, then swap to someone else and just continuously switch targets and keep their opponents guessing. Metaphor is going to have to predict who they attack, really, because uh, the Warlock is standard, but they could make a switch. Jellybean's got Flare out to try and find Nesper. He waited, fortunately. They're actually going to open with Kidney Shot. Maybe just Metaphor's right off the bat. Maybe they train him start to finish. Very aggressive choice on match points for the move to make such a risky target selection, and so far has not net them any advantage. Their opener is now almost completely thwarted. Maldiva is left open. If he's able to get some Chaos Bolts, it could be devastation here as he is ramping up these Chaos Bolts. They could be gigantic. Gigantic kidney shot on Maldiva. Smoke bomb gets dropped here by Nesper to actually set up a swap on Jelly Beans, bursting him down quite effectively. Maldiva's got insane damage. This next Chaos Bolt is insanely huge if he's able to get it off. He gets interrupted by Jelly Beans, silenced by Peekaboo. Can they keep stopping Maldiva long enough? If he can get this Chaos Bolt off, it's going to be devastating, not able to find it. Now this Chaos Bolt going to be a lot more lackluster. A kidney shot on Metaphors, they keep bouncing back and forth onto him. Maledict on this swap as well. A stunned follow-up, maybe just an all-in? Are they gonna be able to do it? Metaphor's bark skin, he uses iron bark, but he's still quite low. Yeah, he has no trinket, no bark skin, no iron bark. The next setup coming in from the move could be scary. If Absurge decides to pull the trigger with his mana, charging in, getting off a lot of offensive purges, they might be able to take him down. But Metaphor still has his gateway. He didn't overreact. He has the thorns as well. Now, Peekaboo could be in some trouble. Full trap on Metaphors. That's going to give the move an opportunity for the Hots to sort of fall off of Metaphors. If they kidney shot him out of this, it could be a little bit scary. All right, Peekaboo retreating away with Absurge, but they left Jelly Beans behind. He's taking a ton of damage, and there it is. tries to deflect it, but here's the swap. They have to kill him. Jelly Beans makes his way over. Do they have any follow-up? No. And Maldiva's going to Mortal Coil both members away and fear the healer. Good support for Metaphors. The move trying to take advantage of what Snuts did earlier on against Metaphors and go after him. And so far, it's a lot of pressure, but it's making them quite vulnerable. And Maldiva's doing a great job to capitalize on being left open and free casting tons of damage. Peekaboo dips the inches low. They are on match point. He could just fall at any moment. Peekaboo tries to reverse it with a swap to Nesper. Smoke Bomb gets dropped, but Peekaboo's still on the back foot. Spiritling Totem available. If Absurge gets spell locked, it could be curtains. He's got a tough decision. Does he go for the risky heal? Jelly Beans gets bursted. Two Chaos Bolts. Gladiator Safeguard. That shield gonna soak up a hit. Absurge gets stun locked. Maledix gets connected. Aspect of the Turtle has been forced, and Absurge is flailing to keep his team going. Yeah, Jelly Bean's still low. No Aspect of the Turtle. Spear Link does get dropped out by Absurge. He gets bashed on it. He has his trinket, but with no healing left. Jelly Beans is very vulnerable. All three members from the move getting lower and lower. Metaphors has the Bark Skin, has the Iron Bark, everything to survive. This is Storm's game to lose at this point. Full fear on Absurge. Unfortunately for him, it does break. Nesper is using the Fan of Knives, still just trying to pressure down everyone. Kidney shot on Nesper. The move is trying to slow them down a little bit. By Absurge, sometime they get some healing out, but with that Corrode Silence coming in from Nesper, it's just so difficult. 
huge pressure on all three members of the move. All right, Metaphor's trading Trinket, but everybody is dying on Absurge's team. His mana is not looking good. They're on match point. They need a miracle. Chaos Bolt straight to the face towards Jellybean's Maledict committed as well, absorbing all that healing, and Jellybean does not have anything to stay alive. He's forced to retreat back behind the pillar. Can Absurge pick him up in time? Maldiva pushing forward. Nesper pushing forward to just end this match and close the series out. Send the move packing. Infernal gets dropped. Maldiva's going to start ramping. Reign of Fire building up that Chaos Bolt damage if Maldiva gets a Chaos Bolt within this next little 10 second window of time. It could just be the end of the match. One Chaos Bolt straight forward. Another one could end the game. They go after Absturge. He's so low. Peekaboo buys some time. They go after Nesper. They try and pull off the Miracle and kill him. There's a Freezing Trap on Metaphors. If they can manage to find a kill here, it would be an absolute miracle. Can they do it? Nesper still low. Chaos Bolt still flying. Jellybeans has got nothing left. Absturge has basically no mana. They close line Peekaboo. Absturge moves back to keep him in the fight just that little bit longer. Bash by Metaphors stalls out the healing. Peekaboo just tanking Chaos Bolt after Chaos Bolt and unable to generate any counter pressure. Maldiva is just an absolute terror in this game. Yeah, Peekaboo still low. Absurd having a very difficult time topping him off, but with a full trap on Metaphors, Nesper could be vulnerable. No evasion left, but Peekaboo is just too low to feel confident to push in and actually take down Nesper during that crowd control chain. I don't know if Metaphor oh, no. is going to have a blind for the next, or a trinket for the next blind. Absurge getting swapped to a nice kidney shot coming in from Nesper. Absurge gets out of line of sight. This isn't going to be any more Chaos Bolts coming in from Maldiva. Ultimately, Absurge should for survive, but Peekaboo's caught in the midfield right now. Kidney shots Nesper trying to avoid a stun on himself as he has no trinket and no defensives. Stun on Metaphor's potential full trap. Is Nesper vulnerable here, Sid? Yeah, he most certainly is, but Peekaboo is stun locked in reversal into the mortal coil. If Maldiva gets a Chaos Bolt off during this time, not actually going for it, instead just generating soul shards. Vendetta from Nesper, he's gonna be doing a lot more damage at this moment. Peekaboo respects that cooldown. Cloak of Shadows avoids the Chaos Bolt, and Abster somehow, someway has managed to stabilize his team, keep them in the fight. Can they reverse sweep? They have to win three games in a row, or the move are going home right now, and Storm are gonna send them packing. Metaphors with the mana lead. Dampening has just started. Cooldowns are very restricted. Jelly Beans needs another six seconds for that aspect of the turtle, but if he does not have Gliders Medallion, he can't activate it, so so Jelly Beans is vulnerable in this position. Maldiva and Nesper are trying to find a way to navigate forward. They don't really actually have that much offense, so it's going to be difficult for them to push the move over at this period of time. Metaphor stun into a trap. Three on one towards Nesper. What's Maldiva going to do to support him? Double mortal coil, perfect timing once again. And now into a kidney shot with no Glarius Medallion. Absturge has to carry. Doing a good job so far, but now caught into a blind. Actually trying to sit through the blind and not use his Gladiator's Medallion. He wants to pair it with that Spirit Link Totem, and that's good preemptive measures by Absturge. He gets away with it, and suddenly the move are etching to an even mana field if they can keep this up a little longer. Yeah, Storm has lost all of their pressure. Peekaboo's still a little bit low, though. That's an opportunity. Stun on Metaphors. All three members of Storm caught in crowd control. Nice hacks. Nesper all alone. Is there any follow-up for N Metaphors in this situation? Faint and evasion keeping Nesper alive a little bit longer. Metaphors trying to get in there. Gets the Iron Bark onto Nesper. Now Peekaboo could be the one that is in a little bit of trouble to full fear onto Absurge. Pressure being reversed. Evasion used by Peekaboo as well. Nice mortal coil. There's the Infernals coming in from Maldiva. Peekaboo getting lower. Absurge has the Spirit Link Totem, that's the last thing he has left and almost no mana left in the tank. Yeah, Maldiva just carrying this next Chaos Bolt again. If he can get it off in time, the move know that Chaos Bolt is devastation. They're not sure what to do. Do they stay on the same pillar? Do they cross the map? Maldiva's moving forward. That Chaos Bolt will kill basically anyone. If he can get it off, he needs to start casting it. This Chaos Bolt could kill. He gets it off on a Peekaboo. Tons of damage. After just no mana left. Jelly Beans goes in with Aspect of the Turtle to avoid Chaos Bolt to get a Freezing Trap to potentially carry the game on his back, but it's not enough. Nesper is not taking any damage. Everybody on the move is just simply dying. Maldiva's damage is too much to handle. The Earthen Wall Totem's defense is now over. Absurd is caught into fear. It's a triple kill potentially for Storm and Peekaboo ultimately falls. The move are going home. Maldiva is a wrecking ball in this lower